Yo, what's up guys, Rui here and welcome back to the channel. As someone who is trying to be a more minimal person, especially when it comes to the way I consume fashion, I really try to practice the idea of consuming less because the way I see it, it really does help me to develop a more healthy relationship with my clothing that I currently have, as well as being more intentional into what I do choose to add into my wardrobe that helps me to not overconsume. Also, this is personally my opinion, but I do feel like the easiest way as well as the most effective method to help the whole fashion industry to be more sustainable is for us to drastically reduce our consumption. Therefore, every time when I'm thinking of getting a new piece, I would always consider if that piece is going to last for a very long time, as well as does it fit my personal style. This is much easier to gauge if we're looking at pieces such as outerwear, jackets, and bottoms, because those in nature have a much more stronger structure integrity. Therefore, if it's you know really well made, it will be able to last you a very long time, and even if it does get damaged along the way, you can somewhat get it repaired. However, when it comes to t-shirts, I find it to be a rather tricky one because it's a piece that just doesn't last very long before you have to get rid of them due to the nature and construction of a t-shirt. It is inevitable that a t-shirt will show signs of wear and tear much faster compared to your other wears because you are going to get them washed way more often thus affecting its structure integrity in the long run. In addition to that, there's only so much that can be done to a t-shirt to make it more durable. Hence, I always try to find a good balance between affordability, construction, and quality whenever I'm looking to pick them up. This is not to say that every t-shirt out there has the same quality. In the past, I have picked up t-shirts from places such as H&M, and although you can get them for some really, really stupid prices, Please do yourself a favor and just stay away from those. I had such a bad experience with them. Um, I remember picking up a couple of them because they had some really nice early tone colors and were only going for around five to six dollars each. However, only after one single wash, the entire integrity of the t-shirt completely falls apart. Hence, based on my experience and usage, I find that the Uniqlo U collection t-shirts are arguably one of the best t-shirts that you can get out there when it comes to the perfect balance between affordability and quality. In particular, I'm a huge fan of their oversized pocket tee that I've been wearing so much ever since I got them sometime last year. The fit and silhouette of it are basically what I have been looking for in my t-shirts and they have been holding up pretty well even after a good amount of washing. Recently, they collaborated with their Airzoom line to produce an updated version of the oversized tee. And being already such a huge fan of the previous one, I knew that I had to check this out and see if it's as good as the previous one. Now, straight up, I have to say that there are a lot of things that I do like about this tea that makes it almost the perfect tea for me. However, there are some negative parts that are pretty major, which can be a huge deal breaker. And I will be covering all of this in today's video. Firstly, let's take an overlook at the design and silhouette of the tea. As the name suggests, it is an oversized tee with a drop shoulder design and a boxy silhouette. It has longer sleeves that cover almost half your arm as well as a tighter crew neck collar design that I'm a huge fan of when it comes to my t-shirt. It retails at only 15 US dollars which is priced at a very affordable point and it's actually priced the same as the oversized pocket tee. So for the same amount that you are paying, you're getting kind of an updated version with the Arizon technology included in it. So I do feel like you are getting a pretty good deal. However, I won't be surprised you know, if you can find this hitting the sales section pretty soon, especially sometime around the transition towards the fall season because this is primarily designed and made for more hot weather days. Many of you guys might have already been familiar with the Arizon technology from Uniqlo, but for those who are not, it's basically Uniqlo's in-house fabric technology that is designed for hot weather usage. Some of its features include anti-odor, moisture wickening, fast dry, cool to the touch, and many more. After wearing it for a good amount of time now, I can safely say that it is really comfortable to wear during hot days as I can actually feel that my body feels much cooler during those times. Also, your mileage may vary on this one, but after a full day of wearing it, it really doesn't pick up any body odor or kind of just like strong smell on the t-shirt as compared to a regular one whereby those t-shirts you know by the end of the day there will be some sort of like kind of odor whereby you have to get it washed to get rid of it. A very quick comparison between the original oversized pocket tee and the Arizona collaboration one 
In terms of material, the original one is made from 100% cotton, while the Arizona one is a mixture of 53% cotton and 40% polyester. This is pretty subjective as to which one you will prefer more, as 100% cotton will give you a more texture rough feel towards it, while the mixture blend is more silky and smooth. In terms of thickness and weight, the Pocket Tee does feel substantially more heavier and thicker compared to the Arizona one. Um, hence, you could say that it is more substantial, but then again, you can't really compare it because the Arizona one is designed for more hot weather usage. For sizing wise, I am 177 centimeters and 65 kilograms, or if you do live in the US, that's 5 feet 10 and around 145 pounds. Something to take note on is that both of the sizing are slightly different uh, because for the previous oversized pocket T, I got it in an L. However, for this one, I had to, you know, size up and got an XL because I found that the L size kind of fits a little bit short for me. Um, hence, the XL, you know, kind of just flows better as well as it sits better on me. When it comes to styling them, since it is using the Arizona Fabric technology, it's definitely a piece that is more catered towards hot weather styling. Therefore, I tend to keep it very simple as I feel like this silhouette already is able to speak by itself. In general, for me at least, oversized tee allows me to play with a little more with proportions and help me to give a more visual element towards what would be a very basic looking outfit which is just t-shirt and pants. There are additional ways into adding more depth and texture into a simple outfit such as adding accessories like side bags, caps, or even a necklace would be a really nice addition towards the outfit. Even styling methods such as tucking in the shirt will give out a very different look. As much as I would just like to sit here and give it nothing but praises, there are some pretty noteworthy cons towards the t-shirt that could potentially be major deal breakers. In most cases, most of these problems usually arise after it's being washed. And also something to take note on is that, you know, this might be a per case basis whereby these issues might not be happening to you but it is somewhat happening to other people so i guess it is something that we should all take note on the first con that some people is facing is that the more vibrant color one seems to be fading in color after only just one wash however it is still unclear as to how they got them washed because it could potentially affect the fading of color um, i did pick up a black color one but i just haven't gotten time around to you know get it washed therefore i'm unable to tell if i do face the same problem as well I will leave kind of an update note um, down in the description box below of this video to kind of you know update you guys if I do face similar problems. If you guys did pick up a piece, do let me know down in the comment section box below if you guys are facing any major color fading problems after just a couple of washes. If there really is kind of this widespread problem, then I would highly suggest you guys to avoid all the colored ones and if you guys really do want to pick a piece up, then just go for the white colorway. The second problem is a pretty prominent one within the Arizona line, which is after a couple of washes, the collar on the shirt will tend to become what is known to be bacon neck, whereby the collar on the shirt will start to have a rippled look that resembles cooked bacon. I do own two other Arizona tees before this, and both of them seem to have the same problem after around a couple of washes. Because of this issue, I most of the time only use it as undershirts now. This makes me believe that the Arizon T will eventually have the same problem as well in the future. There already is a review up on your site addressing this problem. The good news is there's apparently methods out there that can solve this problem. Um, so in the future, I'll be sure to make a video, you know, testing out and seeing if those methods really are effective or not. Some of my closing thoughts is that when it comes to silhouette and what the Arizona technology is able to provide, this is probably one of the best t-shirts out there that I can find for me um, because it really does take all the things that I am looking for in a t-shirt as well as providing me with the necessary functionalities that I need for living in a hot weather country. However, due to uh, you know a couple of drawbacks, it is pretty difficult for me to straight up recommend it to you guys, um, which is really a shame because I really do like how it fits. That is it for today's video. What are your thoughts on the Uniqlo U and Arizona Collaboration T? Do you like it or do you own one? If so, how's it been holding up for you? Do let me know down in the comment section box below. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it. 
And if you're new to this channel or you just haven't been subscribed yet, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because it really does help the channel out a long way. Don't forget that we'll be in our video more giveaway once this channel hits 8,000 subscribers. Till then guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.